guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today I have created for you guys this super easy everyday makeup look using all drugstore products. This is sort of a first impressions, what's new at the drugstore. I showed you guys these new liquid catsuit liquid lips from Wet n Wild. These are so, so great. That's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I love everything about these. They came out with some new... Um, lip liners, Physicians Formula came out with some new stuff, and I kind of just want to do a first impressions, show you guys what's new, and do it with just a full drugstore makeup tutorial. I am so, so happy with how it came out. I cannot, I can't believe that this is drugstore on my face. Looking in the mirror, I look flawless. I love this. You're going to be so seeing much. a lot of the new stuff I got in my future video. If you guys are wondering, this top, it's all cut up. Um, let's see the sides, it's all ripped up. I got this from Shein, which is a super, super affordable website. Um, Shein.com, you guys should check it out. I will have the link in the description below. I will have everything I use in the description below. My Instagram, everything. Please check out my Instagram, follow me, um, share my videos. If any recommendations, anything you guys want me to do, um, just let me know in the comments below and I will be more than happy to do them. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, my name is Gianna and I cannot wait for you guys to see what happens in 2017. I am so excited to further my makeup career and just really excited to see what's going to happen. So thank you so much for watching and I really hope you guys loved this drugstore. Full oh, facing okay. started. I'm super excited to do this all drugstore makeup tutorial. It's kind of a first impressions as well because I haven't tried some of this stuff out. So getting started, I'm going to be using my Magic Lumi by L'Oreal, my primer. This has a really glowy finish, so I'm just gonna apply this all over. I have used this primer before and I, I really do like it. I recommend it if you really like that glowy look to the skin. I'm going to be using my foundation and I just got this ready set Gorgeous in the shade um, Classic Ivory 105. Try this foundation. I've tried the concealer and I liked it, so let's give this a go. I'm just going to be using my Morphe blending sponge with this. This is pretty like dark for being Classic Ivory, and that was the lightest shade they had. So so far, it looks like it's pretty good coverage for me just putting it on my face. So it seems to blend pretty well. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the, the coverage of this. Definitely a more natural coverage than my other ones, but I think it's really good. I'm also going to see how buildable it is. If it goes cake face, or if it's buildable. So that looks really good. That gave me really good coverage. Even building it up, it didn't go cakey or anything. I just got these two new concealers from Maybelline, the Fit Me line. I got the shade Sand Sable and the shade Fair so I can highlight because I told you guys I wanted to get a new highlighting concealer. So I'm excited to try this one out. That's why I got the shade Fair. And the shade Sand Sable will be really good um, for my breakouts or covering any any like redness that I want to cover up. I'm going to start off with the fair under my eyes. I'm really happy with this concealer. I think it looks really good. So I'm just going to highlight my forehead, bridge of the nose. You know. To conceal anything else, I'm just going to use the shade Sand Sable. Really loving how the skin is looking. I think it looks so good um, with this concealer. I really like it. It's really, really good coverage. I have no so everything I'm going to be using my Fit Me powder from Maybelline and I got the shade 120 Classic Ivory 
And this says it's a new look. So I'm really excited to try this out and I'm just gonna take my beauty blender, how I do with my benefit one, and I'm just gonna see how this works. So I think this powder is actually really, really great. It set my under eyes really nicely. Definitely not as much coverage as my Benefit. They're actually really similar if you look at the compartments. So, same size. This actually has more product in it. So, yeah. Actually, I really like this. Just not as much coverage as my other one. Getting my powder brush and setting the rest of my face with this powder. really really great I'm really impressed with how this is looking I'm not really so big into drugstore makeup because I really really love my like Sephora and Ulta and high-end like makeup because I just I just feel like you get what you pay for but I'm really really impressed with how this is looking so I hope that you guys like to the too. eyes I'm gonna use this today and my my uh, brushes are also like pretty affordable too so I use real techniques on my face and I'm going to be using Morphe brushes for my eyes, so really affordable. You guys should check out Morphe brushes. They're really, really great. With the whole lid, I'm going to take this shade right here. It's just a matte light shade. And I'm going to be using my Bold Metals Real Technique brush that I always use to set my eyelids. So since I'm doing all drugstore, I really want to keep this look. Uh, pretty like an everyday easy makeup look that you guys can wear to school, the, your work, just an everyday makeup look, not too much makeup. I don't want to do an excessive amount of makeup. We're not going out to dinner. This is just to hang out for the day and run some errands or something. So I'm going to keep it pretty neutral. Take my um, M535. You guys know I love this brush. I dip into this, sh this shade right here. It's a pretty warm shade, so I'm just gonna put this all over my brush. Just put this all over the eye and into the crease. Okay, so I definitely had to build up that color a lot, but I'm not mad about it because this wasn't crazy expensive. So next, I'm gonna take this one up. It's a little less um, orange than the first shade we just used. It's a still matte. I'm just going to keep putting this into my crease. I'm going to take this shade right here. It's a sparkly one. And I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to put this onto the lid. Just the, just the front of the lid. Then just go back and blend. I'm gonna go back in with that second shade we used at the top. And just... This pencil brush is not drugstore. This is from Sigma. But I'm just gonna use that same sparkly shade and just get this in the inner corner. So I'm just gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics V5 brush. And I wanna pick up with this contour shade right here. And I'm just going to work this into my crease as well. Just because I want to deepen up the look a little bit. I'm going to go in with my face bronzer and that same Morphe 535. And just continue to deepen this look up. Because I feel like they aren't really, those powders aren't really doing it for me, so... Okay, so the eyes are finished. I just wanted to keep it really simple. Not too many shadows. Eyeliner from Revlon. This is the Photo Ready Kajal Revlon Eye Pencil. It just looks like this. It's brown. So I'm going to tight line. I'm not going to put any on my lower waterline, just my top waterline, because I really feel like that just makes the eyelashes look that, mu that much thicker. And I really want some full eyelashes, so... So moving on, I'm going to curl my eyelashes using my eyelash killer from Kohl's and the Voluminous Feline Mascara 
by L'Oreal. I like the brush, but it's just a really, really wet formula, and I kind of like my mascaras to be a little bit drier because I feel like they're easier to work with, but we're going to see how this goes today. I got some mascara on my corner, so I'm just going to let it dry, and then I'm going to take it off because it's way easier to remove when it's dry. It will not smear all over, so just let it dry. I know it can be so annoying, but let it dry. So the mascara is finished. I'm just going to wipe this away now. Do you see how easy that came off? And now you can just take any fluffy brush and just... Eyes are looking. I really don't hate the mascara. I don't think it's that bad. Um, I, I definitely like my Benefit Roller Lash a lot better, but I don't think the mascara is bad. If you guys have any great, like, holy grail mascaras from the drugstore, just Next, let me I'm know. I'm going to take my Butter Bronzer and I'm just going to bronze up the skin. Something I've been loving to do recently is putting Aqua 4 on my lips instead of the CarMax or any other lip balm because I just feel like this saves my life in the winter time with my tapped lips, especially the fact that I want to be wearing matte liquid lips so my lips stay on all day. So this has been really, really helping to keep them not so cracky and drying when I wear my liquid lips. I like to apply it when I'm like done with my foundation and then once before I like put on my liquid lip. Just a very thin So lip. next to contour, I'm going to take that first shade we used on the eye. I'm gonna see how this looks. I'm gonna go very light because I don't, I just don't know. Okay, not bad, not bad. I actually think that looks pretty good. And again, I like that you can build up the intensity and now right when you like touch the brush, you're like, oh no, like crap, I have to restart. I'm actually really liking that contour shade. I think it looks really great, especially for the nose. If you don't want something that's gonna give so much product on the nose, because I know that the that contouring can look sometimes muddy or just really like too dark I really think that the shade looks Next, really I'm great. just gonna take that white shade that I always use I swear I love this shade I'm gonna highlight I'm just gonna blend everything together with my powder brush I'm really, really liking this whole face using drugstore. I think it's coming out so great. I I have no complaints on how this foundation looks, this concealer is, the contour. I like the eyes, how light they are. I'm impressed. This is Thumbs new up. at the drugstore. I just picked this up. This is the new Physicians Formula Butter Blushes. Again, it smells so good. This is in the shade Plum Rose. I really, really love this shade. It's so super subtle. It feels so buttery and creamy on the skin. I was so happy when I saw that they came out with these. So happy. I love my butter bronzer, so I knew that this was just gonna be as good. Super pretty. It just really like livens up the skin. I like that it's a more mauve shade than opposed to these like brighter brighter pink. Moving on, I'm going to do my eyebrows and I finally picked up a new L'Oreal Brow Stylist. See, nothing. It's not faded away. It's brand new. So some new things I got at the drugstore from Wet n Wild. They just came out with new um, cream lip liners. These are the two shades I got. I got a red one, which is in the shade Red 2 read the scene. These are amazingly pigmented, just literally one swipe. I didn't even like press hard at all. That's that's phenomenal. And then I also got the shade 
gone burgundy. Look at that. So those are really, really kind of sucks, but those are the two shades. There's a lighter one that I really want to pick up, but I haven't yet. And I got two of their new liquid lipsticks. So it's, these were three, three something, like almost $4. And they're amazing. Honestly, I love these. I got the shade Give Me Mocha and the shade Video Vixen, which is a really deep, like, purple This red. is Give Me Mocha. This is seriously one of my favorite, favorite shades. And then this one is Video Vixen. Video Vixen, since it's a darker shade, is definitely a little bit more patchy. So I would probably just pair it with a lip liner underneath. I do over. like an everyday look. I either like to do just a glossy nude lip or I like to do a bold lip because my eyes and everything else is pretty subtle. So I really like to go with um, either a deeper nude lip or just a nude lip, which, you know, I've showed you guys London by NYX, um, Stripped by Anastasia. All those nudes are great alternatives. These lip liners are for sure comparable to MAC lip liners. Now I'm just going to take sure. a thin layer of the Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lip, and I actually really love this applicator. So this is the final lip color. I love these Liquid Lips so much. So comfortable. They are pigmented so highly pigmented and they feel so great on the lips i cannot stress how much you guys need these i really want to try the peach one and nudie patootie so those are my next two purchases i've tried this before i really like this i think it's a really great setting spray to highlight i'm going to take my l'oreal infallible uh eyeshadow it's just like one of these this is in the shade iced latte I haven't really found any drugstore highlighters that I love, so you can always, always use eyeshadows to highlight. I'm also going to take a little bit more of that eyeshadow I just used to highlight and put some in my inner corner and brow bone. So this is the completed makeup look. I am so impressed with how everything came out. I know I've said that literally so much, but I... I feel like I am wearing a high-end makeup look. Well, the foundation anyways, the powder, and and the concealer, I have no complaints about. I, I feel flawless. I am so, so happy with how this came out. If you guys want to see some more drugstore hauls, a Sephora haul, clothing haul, just let me know and I will be more than happy to film I that really for you guys. I liked this. I am so, so happy with how it came out. I feel like it's so simple. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. What's new at the drugstore? First impressions slash just full drugstore makeup tutorial. I would love to film more of them for you guys, so just let me know in the comments. You guys should really check out these new Wet n Wild liquid lips. I don't think they will disappoint you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!